two million years ago the Pleistocene started. And this was an era when there were large numbers of very large herbivores roaming the planet. At the end of the Pleistocene, many of these species became extinct. And a lot of research has investigated the reasons as to why these extinctions happened. However, we focus on the question, what were the consequences of these extinction events? We know that at the end of the Pleistocene, major vegetation changes were observed. And we want to know whether there is a causal relationship between the extinction of these large herbivores and the observed vegetation changes afterwards. In South African savanna, a fence has been placed running through the middle of the picture. And you see, when large herbivores are present, you have an open savanna system. But when the large herbivores are excluded, lots of trees are present. Similarly, in Yellowstone National Park, in open grassland, when you place a fence here and exclude the herbivores, you see that a poplar stand develops when protected from grazing. In Quebec, they have a lot of needle tree forest, but you see that when you place an exclosure against deer, that deciduous trees develop massively inside this exclosure. Based on the evidence from contemporary herbivore exclosure studies, we conclude that the extinction of the Pleistocene herbivores must have induced major vegetation changes across the globe. 